to my channel. Today's video is a grocery shop haul. This is with a twist. I know you guys love watching these videos on my channel. Some of you may or may not know I am moving in four days as I'm filming this. I don't know if I've already moved when this goes live, which is quite scary. Today's food grocery haul this week is actually with a twist because I can't really buy loads of things to go in my fridge or freezer. Everything we eat has to be quite instant and it has to be quite now, now, now. So I'm going to kind of show you how we're going to eat this week. It's that I'm still buying from Aldi. The weird grocery haul, but I thought you guys might be interested to know because I'm still going to try and eat healthy despite living out of two houses for a whole week. So videos will be going live still throughout this whole process and I'm also doing moving vlogs and what we're eating while we're moving. So if you want to see those videos and any future videos of course we have lots of taste test videos coming up once we're settled in our new house then make sure you are subscribed down below. I make three videos every single week on living your best life on a budget. My videos go live on Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So shall we get into today's grocery haul? I kind of really want to show you guys what I'm what I've got. Part of this is going to be mixed in with takeaways. I think it's so normal to have takeaways while you're moving house. You just kind of can't avoid it. So like how and when we're going to eat it while still trying, trying to be healthy and keep our energy levels high and our skin looking fresh. Get your autumn jumpers on. Get your autumn drinks. Yes. I've got my Halloween pumpkin tin mug which is just so aesthetically pleasing for autumn it's unreal and shall we just go okay as usual when doing these food grocery hauls i always start off down this end so first things first i picked up a bunch of banana banana bananas i love grabbing a banana when i'm going through one of those seriously really horrible hungry moments where you're halfway through punching a wall and halfway through fainting so a banana is absolutely perfect for that and in the morning just to make sure your energy levels are continuing to like go and let's face it, my energy levels are going to be put to the test throughout the next few days. A large bunch of bananas, that should last us three days if Lawrence and I both had one each day. I also picked up two avocados, that is for tonight's dinner. Everything I have picked up for dinners are literally what we're going to eat in the next three days. It's currently Monday when I'm filming this. But the avocados are for tonight's dinner and I will kind of pop up a picture if I can find one of the dinner we always have. But we love to have once a week, it's so, so affordable. These are 79p per avocado from Aldi and we like to have a whole avocado each on toasted sesame seed bagel with a side of salad so yeah this is just such an affordable but healthy and satisfying dinner but also it's really nutritious and I feel like I need nutrition if I'm going to be having a lot of takeaways over the next few days picked up a lovely bottle of 100% freshly squeezed orange juice I still want to say thank you to the person who told us to buy this orange juice in fact a lot of people did the orange juice from Aldi is so good Although I made a massive, massive rookie error. I got the smooth and not the one with bits. Orange juice with bits is supreme. I would highly recommend this guys if you haven't tried it already. It's £1.69 for this bottle and it is our favourite orange juice at the moment. It'll probably last two to three days between us. We like to have a nice glass in the morning. Kind of in need of a boost, we can get some good vitamins from a nice glass of orange juice in the morning. Okay, moving on over here, I picked up some Moroccan hummus. The hummus from Aldi has quickly become my favourite, favourite ever hummus. It is so nice and if you have seen my Aldi versus M&S food test tasting video, you will know that the hummus is if not nicer than the M&S hummus and it's so much cheaper. We picked up this, the Moroccan hummus, which is so nice by the way. It's got like the sweet but spicy edge to it. It's only 79p for this pot, which I think is so flipping good. I normally buy it every week anyway, but I have bought it this week specifically because we are moving. Hummus, again, is something you take the lid off and you can start eating it straight away. Everything I'm trying to buy is like really quick, easy food, but it's still a bit nutritious. I also picked up to go with that Mediterranean style pitters. And these are from the specially selected range. I really like the pitters at Aldi. They're actually really, really nice. They're actually white or are they wholemeal? Yeah, I think they are white. I would normally get wholemeal because whole Wholemeal pitters are actually really nice and also I like to be healthy, but they're not too bad for you. They are really thick and they're so good toasted. I highly recommend trying these out. Again, these are going to go with the hummus or they might, we might put some salad in there. Just really quick, easy meals, just 
everything has to be quick but also a bit nutritious. 85p and there's six in there, so it's not too bad, cheaper than Waitrose. Oh, also on my travels, I picked up some jam tarts from Sainsbury's. I do kind of crave sugar when I'm very, very tired, and although I will be moving house, I am going to try and stay as healthy as possible, aside from like the occasional treat. I have bought some jam tarts because jam tarts are really sugary and they just give you a boost of energy when you need them. And these can be, again, in my car, in my car glove block box, I was thinking, just to grab one if I'm like driving between the houses while moving and yeah. I also bought some salmon from Aldi. I don't know where this thing has gone. It's basically disappeared, but I had it in the freezer for the last couple of days. I've got it out today to thaw and I'm going to cook it tonight and make prepare it for a lunch we're having tomorrow. Again, we want really nice, healthy, nutritious, but kind of easy things. So I'm doing a lot of food prep, to be honest, which isn't very much like me. I'm going to cook these tonight and put it with a salad for our lunches tomorrow. Really, really good for you. And it's got a lot of natural fats in there and it's just good for you overall. So I do kind of want to incorporate things with natural fats in while we're moving. Normally have salmon like once every week or maybe once every two weeks because I am a semitarian, so I don't eat very much meat or fish, but I will have it like when I can because it is very very good for my skin and also my body. So this salmon is from Aldi. I believe it's two pounds something. This is the sweet chili salmon and it's so good. I really do highly recommend. I bought more vegan no sausage rolls from Aldi. Oh my gosh. If you don't know, you really need to get to know basically. Four for one pound nineteen. The reason the box is open is because I just made to ignore how dirty this tray is it's just burnt like don't worry it's clean but i've just made two and i'm going to eat them in a bit okay moving over here i did also buy these um kind of sausage rolls or rolls from waitrose they're all vegan these are the vegan creamy onion and chive rolls i just really like the sound of them and i feel like they would be really good with hummus there's only four in there and they're not cheap like two for five pounds so i got two boxes one of these and one of the waitrose no sausage rolls and to be fair the waitrose no sausage rolls were good but yeah i'm looking forward to trying these i'm probably going to warm them up i feel like they'll be nice like kind of creamy i'm looking forward to that like warm and creamy and i might even dip them in hummus because things like these dipped in hummus is so so good and then have some carrot sticks on the side and again that can be such an easy grab food and um not like too bad for you i mean it's not the best what you're gonna do also bought from aldi a block of cheese because i'm going to make us cheese sandwiches on the day we move and on the day we move, we're actually getting help from Lawrence's dad, which he has really kindly offered to help and do some of like the kind of hard work. Bought this British mature cheddar. I don't really eat cheese very often, but I hear mature is like kind of cheesy cheese. And I know Lawrence and probably his dad will enjoy this. So this block of cheese is £1.79 from Aldi. I will say, if you have seen my food taste test tasting videos, I think it was the Tesco one, we tasted this and Lawrence like thought this was so so much nicer. I also got the semi-dried tomato and buffalo mozzarella pizza from Aldi. This again one chilled pizza retailer of the year. They win a lot of awards. I want to go to these food awards. This is such a nice pizza. We don't normally have pizza throughout the weekdays. We tend to save like food like this for the weekend and try and eat healthy throughout the week. So we are moving. I know I keep saying that a million trillion times but this is a great great kind of just treat and easy and quick thing to cook. I bought this for one of our dinners throughout this week. Honestly, this pizza tastes so good. I cannot recommend it enough. It's quite big as well. It does me and Lawrence, like we will eat this and be happy and full and content after. It's £3.29 for this pizza and there are other versions. I always go for the vegetarian one. Sometimes Lawrence, oh, I think Lawrence has tried the ham one before and he said it was really, really good. Up some eggs from Waitrose. I tend to get my eggs from either a farm shop or Waitrose. I know um, I mostly shop at Aldi, but I get the odd bit every now and then. We've picked up some eggs because you can't really go wrong with buying eggs. I picked up as a treat because it's autumn now, which means it's basically the build up to Christmas. I feel like we all need some hot chocolate in our lives. So I picked up some green and blacks organic hot chocolate. I am trying not to have caffeine after like 2 p.m. in the day because I have really bad acid reflux to be fair. 
and I'm kind of going to try and swap it for things like this because this will still keep me warm but it's also super duper cozy and we also picked up some Nefke Nefke <laughs> Nescafe Azira this is from Aldi Lawrence drinks most of the coffee here to be fair I've been enjoying coffee in the morning I wonder if someone who's watching the video can suggest some like really good supermarket alternatives to really nice ground coffee that would be really interesting to know I picked up a bag of deliciously refreshing tangerines from Waitrose as well. I, I don't really pop into Waitrose very often, but I do like their fruit and veg. I think it's always good quality. We always want something you can grab, eat straight away, and it's satisfying, it's hydrating, it's filling. I picked up some oranges. So we've got six oranges and six bananas. So that should do us, like, especially over the move until we are able to do our first big food shop in our new house i will definitely be vlogging it i will vlog it the whole experience because it's going to be so fun so yeah at the moment it's just buying stuff to keep us going and then once we're fully in the house we can do our first big food shop if you don't follow me on instagram you seriously miss out on some really good bargains you need to follow me on instagram aldi are selling quality street and it was only three pounds i've never seen any other supermarket sell them so cheap unless they're in the sale after christmas so i bought a tub because i could not resist buying my first tub of quality street i i understand this is probably a bit early because to me quality street really is a christmas chocolate but i thought it'd be really nice to just have them in the house in the new house so i feel a bit more homely because i am really nervous to move i picked up a bag of a bag i picked up a roll of bin bags because um you need them when you move and we needed some and i really wanted to show you guys what i bought i bought in the special buys aisle this tablet lap tray for five pounds 99 and it's quite nice to be fair so basically on the back it's like this bean bag so you can put it on your knees and your lap and it'll feel nice so i really really liked that and also i just love how convenient this is going to be especially when we're moving because we're not going to have the tv set up straight away so if we want to watch something we're going to download a few things on the ipad this was fine at 5.99 and i also purchased a bag of sesame seed bagels these are the new york bakery company it really annoys me that aldi don't do sesame seed bagels of their own version they do the plain ones and the kind of like fruity ones but they don't do the sesame seed ones these are the ones we always eat for our dinner each week we'll have these the avocado and rocket and balsamic oil and it is so nice i can't even tell you how good it tastes for the next four days it's our mission to eat as much as we can in the freezer um i will take you around my freezer now just really quickly and show you guys like what's in there and what kind of things we're gonna have to eat in my freezer so we'll start with the bottom drawer this always has like some ice creams and the frozen fruits in i also have linda mccartney vegetarian sausages i don't really like these if you saw my taste test you'll know i don't actually like these very much so i might actually give these to my sister to feed my niece and nephew then because i think they like them we have some sainsbury's vegetarian slash vegan sausages here which i'm going to cook batch cook tomorrow and then we can have them in sandwiches throughout the week and we also have tons of bags of frozen fruit so i'm going to make myself lawrence and his dad a frozen fruit smoothie for the morning that we're moving or vegan sausage rolls we have vegan sausage rolls which definitely will get eaten like throughout the next few days like we are obsessed with them we also have some raspberry sorbet which we're loving at the moment and it reminds me of z and if you haven't seen that video where i speak about z you might want to go watch it but this is from aldi and it's so so nice also from the sainsbury's vegetarian section i do have tons of these meat free hot dog hot dog style sausages and i bought loads because i was scared they were like limited edition type thing so i kind of need to work out what to do with them because i have like three four bags of these um yeah i kind of overbought that whoops we have some chips we will definitely just throw those in the oven as the days go on we have a pizza a mini pizza which we will eat definitely we have this which we'll probably eat with the mini pizza that's like a really unhealthy dinner um what else oh and we have a frozen square of homemade lasagna which i'm gonna get lawrence to eat tomorrow night for his dinner and then in this drawer the top drawer we have more ice creams which i'm going to give to my neighbor for her grandchildren to eat we have some southern corn southern fried brights which again i might not get around to eating those so i might give them away we have some 
no ball burgers from Aldi. I'm not, I'm not sure I'll get around to eating these again. But if we can move the frozen stuff quickly, we might be able to like save that, and it won't, it won't. It do, I don't think it matters if it thaws anyway. Ah, samosas, mini pizzas. So all in all, we have a lot of food to get us through. I think like I have more food in the freezer than I gave myself credit for and I'm really worried about that. So we're gonna have to start eating like now. Here's where I say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously get chatting in the comments with me down below. Suggest any foods that I could eat to keep me like energized and healthy at the same time. So I'm not just like living off takeaways. I would really like those suggestions. Thank you. Wish me luck for my moving. I will obviously be updating you guys as we're going along. I'm very, very excited. And yeah, I'll be uploading a new video very, very soon. Bye.